Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in the previous video we learned how to use align and margins and basically um, align and set margins to a form so that it can resize nicely and reposition the components as you can see here. And this wind is irritating me. Anyway, let's do now video 45.1 Oops, we're going to be learning about anchors and constraints or constraints, however you want to say it. Not really sure how it's pr pronounced. I'm pronouncing it as constraints. So, yes. Before we learn about that, let's add a splitter component. Here's splitter. So, if you add it, it's currently aligned to AL left. Here it is, it's aligned. To the panel free split allows us to change the width or height of a panel so now we can for instance you can see here that it can we can now change the panels with thanks to the splitter component let's go and align the splitter to top for instance and compile and now you can see we can align it i'm not lining we can change the height of the top panel let's leave it okay that's basically it for this video. No, 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 no. Not video. I meant for splitter. <laughs> okay. So now let's learn about constraints first. So remember, I said, remember I said in the previous video that um, for instance, if you do this, then the form goes all wrong. So let's, just, so let's see where constraints come in. You basically set a maximum height or minimum height or however you want it. Let's make the minimum height around this size okay so go to the constraints option here in the properties and here you can see maximum height max width min height min width and let's make the minimum height uh 420 14 let's make it 14 or 400 now 14 okay yeah and uh, minimum width we can make it around uh, the size the size is 540 540 okay is it a maximum height of 900 no let's make it five 700 the maximum width of um, like 1000 okay so if we compile now F9, you can't, you can't go bigger than this size, which is 900 width and 600 or something height. And you can't go smaller than this. This is the minimum width and height for this form. So that's how to do that. Okay. And basically how to use constraints, it's quite simple. You can also use it for components. For instance, let's go to the panel 3 and set a maximum with uh, 200 or 400 okay 400 so also let's also set a minimum width of um, 50 okay so now we can't make the um, panel 3 larger than that number as you can see it's like stops here we can't make it smaller than 50 which is this size and yes and that's how to use constraints that's quite simple and easy actually um, okay let's learn about anchor let's um, make it like this okay let's use the panel um, 5 to then about anchors. Let's first start by adding a simple memo. Let's align the memo to left. Let's say we have an image component here now. And we want the image component to always go from let's make it a bit different. Uh the width should be 256 or 257. Okay. So we want the uh, image to always be from um, the end of this memo until the end of this panel but 
let's first add an image to it, a picture. Let's add this, okay? And enable stretch, okay? So if we compile now, currently, it will stay at the top and it will stay at the left side, but it will not stay at the right side, as you can see. Let's first, let's first also increase the max width to a bit more to make it 500, 600, 1600. As you can see, it stays there, but yeah, it doesn't work exactly. If we, if we align the top, for instance, then it will um, do this, but it will not go start from the from here at the end of the memo. This is where anchors come in. Okay? So currently, it does start from the left side and the top. But you also want to keep the right side. So go to this and say, um, where's the anchor? Expand the anchors menu. And you can see the left and top is currently enabled. That's why it stays at the top and stays at the left. So also enable the right one. And if you compile now, you will see it actually stays to the right side as well. That's nice. Let's say you want to Let's add a different one. Let's add a button. Let's say you want the button to stay here at the bottom. Let's say we want the button to stay here. Like currently, it stays at the left and top side again. As you can see, it stays left and top but not right and bottom. So go to anchor, disable left and top and enable the right and bottom and now it will stay at the right and bottom side as you guys can see that's basically how to use anchors as well um, let's start something else let's add it plus minus here in the middle and let's enable all of them now it will actually stay kind of in the middle and it will resize all of the sides of it and I will still say left, top, bottom and right so basically how to use this and that's how to use anchors and constants so thanks for watching guys um, if this video helped you then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye